Hello, it's Shauna, your Pampered Chef Consultant, and it's uh, Tuesday, and we're making some hamburgers, or cheeseburgers, I should say. So what we're going to do is mix up all of our favorite uh, ingredients. We have some lean ground beef in there, um, some soda crackers, uh, salt, pepper, onions, eggs, you know, standard burger stuff. Use your favorite recipe. And over here, we're going to be um, grilling on our double burner grill pan. Okay, so I am choosing to use my two biggest burners, which is uh, here and there. Um, if you only have four hour burners on your stove, just pick your uh, two biggest and go from there. So we're mixing up our mixture using our mix and chop which is fabulous for mixing things, uh, for scrambling your beef if you're cooking it just like this. Um, if you're making mashed bananas, you could use, use this to make guacamole, um, frozen juice, so many things because there's like five little blades here that's squishing with every push and turn. But I love it for when I'm mixing up my ground beef uh, for hamburgers. This evening I'm going to be making my burgers using our uh, burger and slider press. So this is the slider side and then we have this little insert to make, if you want to pop that out, to make burgers. So what's so special about this is it has that, uh, it's made of silicone so that uh, you can actually push the burgers out. So I'm going to show you my trick. I'm going to make sliders tonight. <coughs> Take some saran wrap or um, some vegetable, some produce bags. I actually saran wrap my tools for an even quicker and easier cleanup. I mean, this is dishwasher safe, but this makes it that much easier. And look, uh, check this out. The squisher, the burger squisher thing has this uh, little indent which is going to cause your patties to have like a little dimple in them. So what that's actually doing is it's allowing the burgers to cook flat. So, Alright, so I'll show you what this is going to look like. Okay, so behind me I have our large uh, half sheet pan. Okay, it's a really big pan. And I have two of our little um, small flexible mats just lining it. And I'm gonna go with, in with my large scooper, my large cookie scoop. And I'm going to put in just two scoops of our ground beef mixture. And take our Squish your piece and as hard as you can. Ooh, maybe that was too much meat here. <laughs> no, that's good. As hard as you can, you're just going to push that down and then it'll actually just fall out. That's why I love saran wrapping it. I know what's wrong. I normally use my medium scoop. Two medium scoops. Of ground beef. That's it. See, it's been a while. It's winter. I haven't made patties in a while. <laughs> but that's okay. We'll make do. We'll have really thick, juicy patties tonight. So I know my double burner grill pan, which is over here preheating, uh, it takes, it'll hold uh, eight patties. So I'm going to make um, four and four, just like over here. Show you what that looks like. Let's just keep going, making a couple more patties. So the reason why I like using these is when it's time to actually flip it into the pan, I can very conveniently carry these over to the band and do one quick motion of a flop. So 
so I'll show you what that looks like. One more patty to go and we'll put our first batch on my um, grill pan. All right, so this is all hot. I can feel the heat coming off. The handles don't typically get hot, so we're just gonna set that aside. I'm gonna go in with one of my trays. Oops. Just like that. And let's see how smooth they can be. Oh, Lord. Okay, not bad. <laughs> not bad. And because that was heating on both sides, we're going to have burgers done in no time. Let's try that again. Ready? Okay, in a perfect world, they'll <laughs> drop smooth and easy. Let's watch these babies cook. So friends, did you know that this double pan um, grill and press set has a lifetime warranty? And the beauty of it is it is dishwasher safe and metal utensil safe. How many of nonstick cans do you know that are, are dishwasher and metal utensil safe? Check that out. Oh my gosh, that's almost slips is almost looks as good as if it was centered on the barbecue. Almost. But I'd say that's not too bad for January, wouldn't you say? You know I'll be standing out there barbecuing. Oh my gosh, look at that one you guys. Check that out. Doesn't that look amazing? Yes. Oh my gosh. This is actually my uh, fish spatula. I love it for flipping burgers because it has uh, the slight angle to it. it. Works awesome. So make sure that your burgers reach an internal temperature of 165 degrees. Don't guess, friends. Get a little meat thermometer. This is like $12. Super inexpensive, um, but it's going to save your, <laughs> save your, um, self some, how should we put this, indigestion troubles <laughs> or dry meat. One or the other. Pick one. So, friends, I am super excited to have some cheeseburgers tonight. I hope you enjoyed this video if you liked it please give me a thumbs up or some hearts take care friends and happy grilling in january let me know how you know how you always three ways to get your products order off my website host a party and get them 50 percent off or free or 60 percent off or become a consultant join my team and get all the things in the catalog you want at a great discount take care friends bye for now